Hello, and welcome to the color texting tutorial. First things first, let's just open up the app. When you first open the app, you'll be presented with many features to choose from. Before we go there, though, let's head on over to settings and make sure you have MMS messaging enabled. So the way we're going to do that is scroll down till we find messages and make sure MMS is turned on. Now, don't turn on MMS if it's not in your data plan. Additional charges may apply to you. Back to the app. First thing you're going to do is choose a feature you like. For example, gradient bubbles. You'll be presented with a click here to edit screen. Let's type a message. Hello, dude. How are you? Hit done. Now you're going to choose your colors. Let's go with Mmm, that looks pretty good. Cyan and pink. Click here to send the message. You'll be presented with a screen. This basically just says that your message has been copied to your clipboard. We'll explain that in a second. And you don't really have to worry how it looks on your end because it's going to look fine on the receiving end. Click MMS and it'll open up your texting application. Simply double click and hit paste. And there's your message. Now on the to field, enter who you want to send it to. And hit send. Okay, so this is what it will look like when the message goes through. Now let me point out a few differences between the sending and the receiving message, as I mentioned earlier. You can see there's kind of a wide gap here between the text and the edge of the bubble. Some of you may see this and think, hey, this doesn't look very realistic. I don't want to send it. But on the receiving end, the gap is removed. That's how images work with Apple texting. Nothing we can do about that, but it'll look good on their phone. We promise. Back to the app. Most of the features are pretty straightforward to use. For example, fancy text. All you have to do is type, hit done, and it'll automatically apply the feature for you. A few are harder to use, and I will explain the hardest one right now, that being color text. As you can see, you can change the color or the font of your text. Now the way this one is tricky is you're going to have to select the color you want, for example, green, lime, we can type a message, hey, and then hit done, and it does make it green. But now if we want to switch over to another color, you got to change the color. So now we can click blue, and it'll put the blue tag up there, yo, it changes the color. The only other tricky part about this one is the bold, underline, and italicize. If we turn on bold and type high, and then hit done, it will bold high. But then if we want to type something else in non-bold, so we go on to say, how are you? You can see it leaves the whole thing bold. So what we need to do is hit the end bold tag, and that'll put a forward slash B. Then we can type high or whatever else we want, and it'll turn off bold for that word. We hope you enjoyed this app. Check us out in the App Store if you don't already have it. Thanks.